Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So if you follow me on social media, which the link is down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. And I'm just going to tell you now, I am pretty much an amateur at this. I haven't really done it before. I tried one time just to get a feel for it, just the basics. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some little resin pieces we're gonna be doing some bells so I'll show you what we're gonna be doing show you everything you're gonna be needed all right to do this project you're gonna need the resin the epoxy resin and this is just a simple sorry the resin and the hardener this is not a fast acting one this is not UV this is regular resin now what I did get I, I got this off Timu it was a little set and I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about it this is supposed to self level there's supposed to be no bubbles in it and there's not supposed to be any smell really and it's gonna resist yellowing and it says you have 40 minute working time but you have to let it cure for 24 hours so if you do a fast acting it'll be I think six to eight hours curing so the other next thing you're gonna need is a mold I got this from Dollar Tree last year you don't have to use this one but for this project with these colors this is what I'm doing so I'm gonna be using this and then like I said I'm gonna be using colors and I'm not 100% sure on these colors this looked kind of red to me so that's what I'm gonna be using it either it is or it isn't this looks green so that's what I'm using and then this one looked blue and I stand by that so that's what I'm gonna be using for those those three colors and to do this you're gonna need two cups like I said this came with the kit and they are measuring cups so that I can measure because you have to do one on one and one it's the same amount so I'm gonna be using these little finger cups but you can use wrong way you can use gloves I just I personally did not really like the gloves so I'm gonna be using the finger cuffs and then you're gonna want some sticks to stir the stuff with and then a paintbrush to brush on the um, color so let's get to it all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the color and I, I don't want to do the resin first because you have to wait. But I'm trying this. I have not done this before. This is what a friend told me to do. Um, I'm going to just add the color in here. And then I'll put the resin. after so that's all we're gonna be doing on this part this is a little more pink than red but it's fine I've never done this before so it may not be perfect but I'm gonna work with what I got so I put green for the leaves red or whatever that is for the berries and then this is just gonna be like where the bell part is and we're gonna see how this works so that is all I'm doing for that step I know it's really hard to see but all right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add the resin into these and I'm gonna put it to the 7.5. And the resin is very, actually I might do the five. The resin is very thick. So, 
I did it to about a, about the five, and I'm gonna put the other one, the hardener in the other one. Also to a five, you have to do the same amount for both. And now I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix it for just a little while, just a, little, a couple minutes. You don't wanna go too fast. I forgot. Cause if you go too fast, it does the bubbles. So. just mix it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it together I could be wrong on that step but that's how I interpreted the instructions so that's how I'm doing it and now I'm just gonna mix these two together and you're gonna mix it together until it becomes clear so and you're not gonna go fast, like I said, so. Just take your time. So, I was really, really interested in doing this, and I must say again, I'm still new at this, so I don't know if I'm doing it 100% right. You're learning with me, basically. But this seemed like fun. All right, so now that that's done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna pour it into the mold. And like I said, I don't know if this is gonna work. As you can see, it's not gonna go all the way to the top, but I'm fine with that. It doesn't have to be a big thing, but we will see if this works out the way she said it would. I don't know, I've never done this before. I've only done it without color. So you have to let that set for 24 hours. We will come back tomorrow and see what it looks like. I'll even show you how to do it without color. I don't know what happened, but it has not set. I did not have this problem when I did it last time. I'm going to just keep letting it work and we'll see where we are, but I will go ahead and show you another example without the color. This Little Mermaid I did. I absolutely love how it came out. I think it looks amazing. And all I did was add the mixture to a mold, but I think it might be something to do with this particular mold. So I will not be doing it again. As you can see, it is really flexible and is not coming out. Oh wait, I might be able to get it out. Hold on. It's flexible though. Yep, it is really flexible. There it is. I'm gonna let it sit and see if I can get it to firm up. I don't know what happened. I'm slightly disappointed, but that's what it looks like. The color didn't work either the way I thought it would. I mean, you can see the color in there. It's just I didn't get enough of it, I think. But that is it for today's project. I'm disappointed, but you know, I'm still new at this whole resin stuff. But like I said, this one was actually a resin mold and I love how it came out and I'm actually going to play around with color with this and see if I can get it to work. But anyways, if you like this video, please, please, please like, share, subscribe and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow and I will see y'all next time. Bye.